look at this Pimco stands to lose billions of dollars if Russia defaults on its debt. For those of you who are not aware who Pimco is, Pimco is American investment management firm focusing on active fixed income investment management. Pimco is a whale. Just look at the assets under management. We're talking about $2.2 trillion. And here's exactly how much money they're going to lose if Russia actually default on its debt. So very important guys, they are currently holding $1.5 billion of sovereign Russian debt. Against this debt they have credit default swaps, right? This means that in some way they will try to ensure investors that, you know, if things go south, they will be able to, to, have, to recoup some of these losses. The credit default swaps worth $1.1 billion. This is what I'm talking about guys. Earlier, we counted BlackRock losses on Russian investments. Now we're looking into the other institutional investors who most likely will be catched by the wave. The derivative contracts are intended to compensate the holders in the event that underlying bond issuer, such as Russia, right? In this case, Russia fails to make payments. The fun part here is that actually Pimco made money on those credit default swaps because they were requested from the investors. Pimco sold the CDS, right, to investors wanting protection against potential default and collects premium on its insurance-like product. In doing so, in effectively wager that Russia would pay its creators. This is why we tend to say that these institutional investors tend to make money on the way up, on the way down, when the market is uh, filled up with FUD, right? They always will find a new product to sell you, some insurance that they will collect interest payment on it, right? Even though you're not feeling good paying for something that you're not using, but most of these people, believe me, pray to not fall under the consequences to actually uh, use this insurance because uh, they might actually have much much greater losses well look at the situation in this way nobody expected to see the war right in january nobody expected the war almost by the by the last week or two in february nobody expected the war so nobody was prepared for such kind of events right they can offer a product such an insurance creative fault swaps to back that type of investment such as sovereign debt but uh, a lot of other smaller and maybe middle-sized hedge funds or institutional investors or mutual funds maybe not be able to offer such kind of protection or maybe the investors cannot afford to pay interest on insurance. I understand the risk of losing it all is big, right? But paying for, for such a kind of insurance is not something that any investor on the market can afford. Also, I think a lot of people that expected to see official default from Evergrande and from other Chinese developers and this actually didn't happen, I encourage a lot of investors to think that, you know, nobody will leave any big company or any country uh, to fall under a default, right? This is why uh, boost the, the, the courage for a lot of people not, not getting the, that type of insurance. But on the flip side, this automatically means that if Russia actually defaults, which is very likely, according to Morgan Stanley, in my first video today, I explained why. Morgan Stanley is already preparing for that scenario and Morgan Stanley expect this to happen around April 15. So if this actually happened and if you assume that a lot of investors didn't buy into credit for swaps as type of insurance, we are going to see a huge liquidations in the other portfolio assets. A lot of people, if you, if you have, let's say, $10 million invested with this hedge fund and let's say you lost 5 million on your Russian investment. If you're asking me, more articles like this one are coming and they will be bigger and bigger hedge funds, bigger and bigger asset management groups. Simply because, like I said, this was easy way to make a passive income, buying Russian debt. Nobody could assume that the country could be put under default, right? Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.